Today we're going to do a session on some really good full moon equinox essential oils um, and then I'm going to take you on a little guided meditation with those oils. So if you've got any of the oils that we're talking about, you don't have to have them all, but if you have got them all, lovely. Um, the oils that you'll be needing to grab are rose, jasmine, melissa, clary sage and cedarwood. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a presentation now just to just so I can explain why I've chosen those oils for our blend this month. So it's a full moon last night, but we're still in the energy of that full moon. It's usually a day 24 hours before, during and after. So you've got a three day period to really utilize the energies that are around. But we've also got the autumn equinox as well today. So you've got a really powerful combination of things going on for us. And I've, I've been listening to people's interpretation of this month's full moon. And um, one of the descriptions I heard was it's like a phoenix rising from the ashes. So where we are at the moment energetically, this full moon brings expansion. And it's also healing the energy around worthiness and, and I am worthy. So this is about really letting go of all those limiting beliefs so you can step into your power. But we're also harvesting the intentions that we would have set earlier in the year in the spring. So they're actually coming into blossom now. So if you can cast your mind back to March time and just think about what you wanted to manifest around that time, because that's what you'll probably see starting to shoot up into realization right now. And it's also a space where we can plant our seeds of intention for early next to, to grow it early next year. So we're planting the seeds now for what we want to see um, in January onwards of next year. So there's a lot going on. So the moon blends that and to fit with the equinox and that moon energy that we've got around at the moment that I've chosen to put together are rose, the oil of divine love. Melissa, the oil of light, Jasmine, the oil of purity and balance, got Clary Sage in there to bring in some clarity and vision, and we've got Cedarwood. I'm putting Cedarwood in all my blends at the moment because community is just so important right now that we all come together and support each other through this time. So if you've got any of those oils and you want to have them handy for the meditation that we're going to do, one thing you could be doing while I'm talking about the oils is just putting them onto your hands. So if you've got the rose touch already diluted, you could just put some of that onto your hand and then add a drop of Melissa. Maybe you've got the jasmine touch that you could put on top and then add a drop of clary sage, add a drop of cedarwood and just rub your hands together. Or you could make it up in a roller. What I've done, I've just used an empty five, uh, 15 mil bottle and I bought some rollable tops from essential oil supplies that fit onto these bottles. So I've actually washed it out and then I put it in some hot water over the stove and just kept it simmering for about 20 minutes just to give it a real good deep clean. And then to get the label off, I've just used a bit of lemon essential oil, rubbed it on and it, well, pull, pull the label off. And then to get the sticky bit off, just use some lemon. And then you've got a really lovely, 15 mil sized roller bottle. So that's what I've done with this blend. Okay, so those are the oils and let's look at why they've been put into our blend. So we've chosen rose really because it's the highest vibrational oil on the planet. And I've put so far in brackets because I do believe that there are hundreds of species of plants that we haven't even discovered yet. So, but so far, rose gives us the highest vibration. And you know, when I'm talking vibration, what I mean is when we put this oil on the body, it, it raises our vibration. So it's a powerful healer of the heart and an opener of the heart. It supports you in meditation. It gives the feeling of reaching heavenward. So connecting with divine love. And as you open your heart, it softens and it allows you to accept even more love in so that you can experience the unwavering, unchanging, unconditional love of the divine. And this has the effect of restoring you back to your authenticity, so back to the wholeness and purity of who you really are. So as you learn to open your heart, you can receive more in. 
Melissa is the oil of light. Now this new moon, uh, full moon, did you see it last night? It's massive and the light that it's giving off, it, it's a harvest moon. And they call it that because the farmers could work later into the night because of the light that the moon gave off. And I probably should explain actually that a full moon is that the moon and the sun are opposite each other in the sky. So the sun's light is shining onto the moon, which then shines down onto our planet. So that's why we get this real boost of energy around a full moon. Some people feel it more than others because the we're, if you think about the effect that a, full, that a moon has on the tides, on water, and we're predominantly made up of water, so we can feel that energy too. Now, Melissa, being the oil of light, really kind of represents that lightness that that full moon gives off. And emotionally, it wakes you to this, well, wakes your soul to truth and light. It reminds you of who you are and what you're here to do. It invites you to release everything that's holding you back from reaching your highest potential. And it assists you in receiving spiritual guidance by reconnecting you to your inner voice uplifting your soul, preparing to ascend, so preparing to, to raise that your vibration, gives you strength and vitality, encouraging you to keep going, and it fuels a spark of energy, igniting your true self and teaching the joy of living. And some of you will know that I did a 21 day Melissa challenge where I put a drop under my tongue every day for 21 days. And that sentence at the end there, well, I suppose igniting the, your true self and teaching the joy of living was definitely one of the symptoms or one of the feelings that I got from using it every day in that way. Jasmine, when we think of uh, moon oils, any white flower that we get an essential oil from is a really good oil to use in a full moon. And if you think about jasmine, it actually flowers or opens its blossoms and gives off its aroma in the evening. So jasmine is a really lovely one to use for any sort of full moon work that you're doing. It's the oil of purity and balance. And it's a, an essential oil that when you use it, it's bringing you to that feeling of honoring and respecting yourself and others. It can bring into realignment the divine feminine and alleviate subconscious fears. It's great for your self-confidence and encouraging or increasing courage to put good thoughts into action. It helps you feel good about you and it actually activates endorphins in the body which bring feelings of well-being and euphoria. So this is all about increasing the courage you need to embrace the magnificent person that you are. So letting that side of you shine. Now we put some clary sage in the blend, the oil of clarity and vision because this one is going to help you to see the bigger picture of what's going on in your life and, and maybe even start to bring in some new ideas and changing your perceptions around what's going on, giving you the courage to see the truth, getting rid of the darkness and illusion so you can see what's going on. And it helps you to see your own limiting belief systems as well, things that are actually just holding you back and actually not true. Encouraging you to remain open to new ideas and new perspectives. It can open your creative channels and clear any creative blocks. It shows you what your divinely given gifts are and teaches you how to use them. And one of the gifts it brings is the gift of discernment so that you can see the truth of what's going on in your life and it eliminates distractions keeping you on your path. And then we've got the cedar wood, the oil of community, bringing people together to experience the strength and value of community. I think this is so important right now that people need to feel part of something, part of with like minded people. And this helps you, you to form bonds within those social groups, helps you to open and accept the support that's around you, helps you to see that you're not alone lets you reach out to others when you need support. And it also invites you to give as well as receive so you can experience the strength of groups and the joy of relationships. So this combination of oils that are put together as our full moon luminary blend for right now, for the, for the energy that's around right now. 
And I, I've used actually a 15 mil roll, um, bottle, but you could put it in a 10 mil roller. And the suggested drops are 10 drops of rose, eight drops of melissa and eight drops of jasmine, and then five drops of clary sage and five drops of cedarwood. But you can use less than that, but that's what, what I've used in here. Now, where to use the blend? We're gonna use it on three places for this meditation. So hopefully you've got some on your hands now. Um, even if you've only got one or two of those oils, and if you haven't got any at all, just grab your favorite oil that you like to work with. And the first place we're gonna put the oil, so if you put some on your hands or on your finger, I'm gonna ask you to place some on Spirit Gateway, which is Conception Vessel 8, or an easier way to remember this is it's right in the middle of your belly button. And Chinese medicine believe that this is the point where the spirit both enters and exits the body. And it's a really lovely place to restore, um, to release current stresses affected, that might be affecting your emotional health. So if you just get some of your oil now, if you've got a roller, it's actually quite nice just to put it straight into the belly button. But if you're using it on your finger, just put some on your finger, put your finger into your belly button and just hold it there just for a minute just allowing yourself to center. It's always preparing the body now, ready for the meditation that we're gonna to do together. Just take a few deep breaths, feel your body relaxing. And then you're just gonna move your hand down about three inches to conception vessel four or origin pass. And this is known as the passageway of chi or the place where chi is stored so it's about three inches now or three finger widths if you think below your belly button and you're just holding your hand there now on that point so you're allowing the oils to get into that area which is also if you think about it your sacral chakra for those of you that work with the chakra system and this point helps you to reflect on emotions and reflecting on what's going on in the world around you. And it also helps to give form to your creative ideas. So it's a nice meditation point if you're feeling stuck creatively. And now you've got some on your hands, you can just rub them together because we're gonna use them on our hands during our meditation. And if you need to put some more on, just top it up now. And this meditation is just going to allow you just to use those oils to help you to tap into the healing and guidance that's around right now. So when you're ready, just settle in and give your body permission to relax. Slowly closing your eyes, allowing yourself to relax. Let your shoulders drop. Maybe you want to part your mouth slightly, relaxing your jaw. Let your hips settle. Just begin tuning in to the energy around you. Remember the moon and the sun are opposite in the sky, meaning we're receiving the full light and power of that sun reflected on the face of the moon. Bringing an opportunity to rebalance and refocus. And just bringing your hands to your face, just take a few deep breaths of your oils. And begin to connect with your breath and the oils in the blend. Simply noticing the rhythm of your breathing as you inhale and exhale. Noticing the beautiful aromas from your blend. And as you observe, you might want to change your breathing, but don't worry about that for now. Just simply keep your awareness on your breath.
Now let's bring some more air into the lungs, breathing more deeply now. Pull in the air, pull in the oil to the very bottom of your lungs. And then exhale very slowly, emptying the lungs. And again, inhale deeply. And exhale slowly. Each breath you take, deepening your connection with the medicine of the oils. And on your next in-breath, become aware and connect to the rose in your blend. Now, if you haven't got rose, just connect in now to the essence of rose. The oil of divine love. The highest vibration of all the oils. And as you breathe, feel yourself lifting upwards, reaching heavenwards, connecting to divine love. Unwavering, unchanging, unconditional love. And feel your heart soften as it opens fully and a fountain of love flows freely through. And into this feeling, place the affirmation, I attract love, joy, and happiness into my life. Now on your next in-breath, become aware of the jasmine in the blend or tune into the essence as I speak. The oil of the moon, bringing balance and the courage you need to embrace the magnificent person that you truly are. And as you breathe in this oil, feel it renewing your self-confidence, increasing your courage, You might have had some complicated lessons to learn this year. Now's the time to rise from these lessons and put what you've learnt into action. It's time to be proud of who you are and who you'll be continuing to become. Just take a moment to reflect on these lessons now as you bathe in the energy around and the oils in your blend. It's time to honor the past and the role that it's played in helping you to live with authenticity and love. As you realize that every moment holds an opportunity to turn your life around. And you decide with clarity, today you choose a higher path for your continued growth and expansion. And into this feeling, place the affirmation, I focus on my good attributes and amplify them. I have the courage to step forward with joy and enthusiasm. And on the next deep breath of your blend, tune into the clary sage in the blend the oil of clarity and vision. And allow the medicine of this oil to open your third eye. 
dispelling any darkness and illusion. Helping you to see your limiting belief systems for what they are. And release them into the light of this full moon. And as you feel them gently lifting away into the space where they once were, place the affirmation. I embrace my emotions as I allow balance to return. Nurturing energy surrounds me now. And honoring your path and taking all the lessons you've learned, you connect with the cedar wood in the blend, the oil of community. And with this oil comes a deep sense of belonging and knowing that you're not alone as you connect with the energy of those around you on a similar path. And together you honour this path as you prepare on a soul level for what's yet to unfold. And feel yourself recharging under the light of the full moon. Drawing on the gifts of the law of attraction. And knowing that you're going to be brought together with your soul family to amplify your focus. And accept the shared knowledge, wisdom, love and protection it brings. And into this space, place the affirmation. Everything I need to know is stored within me. I easily tap into my inner vision and lovingly share the knowledge it brings. Feel your energy start to rise to your highest potential as you connect with the Melissa in your blend, the oil of light. And as you breathe in this powerful oil, feel it awakening your soul to your truth and light. Reminding you of who you are and why you're here. And bringing an invitation now just to release everything that's holding you back from reaching this highest potential. Letting go of anything that's been holding you down. And as the higher consciousness of your soul comes forth, you feel your heart field expand. And into this expansion, you place the affirmation. I am aligned with the healing powers of inner peace and kindness. Under the light of this full moon, you step fully into your higher calling. Honouring your path and taking all the lessons you've learned to guide you through the next stage of your journey. You bring a feeling of gratitude deep into your awareness. Grateful for who you are and all you've experienced, good and bad. Grateful for the people you have in your life, grateful for the people that you've yet to meet. With your next inhale, just breathe in this gratitude. And imagine it flowing through your entire body.
And as you exhale, breathe your appreciation out into your surroundings. Letting it touch everything and everyone around you. Gratitude in and appreciation out. As like a phoenix rising, you're set free, unleashed, arising into a new day. Now's the time to experience the fulfillment of your desires. And so it is. Now, as we come to the end of this meditation together, slowly bring your awareness back to your surroundings and tune in again to the sounds around you. Taking a few deep breaths. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes. And I'm gonna come back into the Zoom room. And I know that Antonietta is a bit of an expert on equinoxes. <laughs> and if she's not too out of it from the meditation, I'd like to invite her just to share some wisdom with us, if that's okay. You're muted, yeah. There we go. Um, well, I don't know if I'm some a complete expert, but I use the full moons, the new moons and the equinoxes to have a full as much a full cleanse as possible from a, a body perspective and a health perspective. And the equinoxes are one of the most powerful times of the year. And, you know, Debbie said with the full moon, we've got the, the, the sun and the moon opposite each other, which is why we can see the whole full moon. But with the equinox, um, we what we have is, the time it's the time of equal day and equal night and when the sun is at right angles with, over the equator so it's quite an amazing lineup and this september we've had this powerful moon full moon um that came full monday evening and then this evening we've got the equinox so we've had these three amazing days and you know this month we've really really prepared for these three days of of cleanse um so the moon was in pisces which is all about um flow water um so it is the moon which allows us to cleanse ourselves and let go of all the things that we don't need um but the the equinox um, we prepared ourselves with doing, I think we did, some did six, some did nine pastoral packs, which supporting the liver and juicing to open the liver to really get the body into a really good space. And then we started doing our home enemas, which we did yesterday morning after the full moon and again tomorrow morning after the, um, the equinox, which really allows the body to release. Um, and then we follow up with our Epsom salt baths. Anything that's left hanging around in the outer area of our skin is then drawn out using the Epsom salt baths. And you, so you what say, actually happens, huh? You say you need about a kilo of Epsom salts to do a clean. Yeah, for it to work, yeah. And if you've got a really big bath where you have to put a lot of water in, I you know, normally suggest put a little bit more because you kind of really make what the sulfur does in that magnesium magnesium to really draw the impurities out and it works on a physical level but also on an emotional level as well so there's all sorts of things that um, happen at this time so what is actually happening so we know that we've got like an equal day and equal night and the sun is at right angles but when we're now moving so in March when we have the uh, spring equinox from March to September, we're in summer energy. And then in September, we're now just moving into the winter energy. So tonight at 8.20, it's literally like a switch. It's like somebody turning a light switch on. And today, our energy is going up the body and down, round over the head and back. So we're in this circular movement like this. So we're more in opening, we're open. 
And tonight, when 8.20 happens, that changes, which is why I say go out in nature, because there's almost like that moment of complete silence, all nature, birds, everything just shush. And then afterwards, it's more noticeable when it happens in the day, when the time is in the day. But, you know, see what happens this evening. And the trees start to rustle and the birds, even though they're going to bed, they're starting to chirp again just after that moment. And at that switch, the energy will turn the other way. So coming up the back now, over the head and down the front in this circular. And what that's doing, if you think, it's like closing. So when you look at nature now, so at the moment, everything is still quite green. I'm looking out there. And then from as soon as that switch happens, the leaves, see how quickly in the next few days, they start to change color, going to the yellows and the, uh, the oranges, the reds and the browns. And, um, and the trees then, they will start shedding their leaves and everything's going to sleep, ready for the winter for rest. So we're in that closing time. So, and our, and our bodies, even though you might not notice it, we, we feel these surges of change. And when these are happening, when that split is happening, this is the time when we release toxicity the most. So you might find, or you may have already found, people already starting to get a few colds, sore throats, when toxicity is a little bit blocked. And over the next few days, there'll be a lot more people you know, kind of being bunged up, a bit mucousy. Um, if you're cleansing at this time, you avoid all of that and you allow it to release, which is such good times to, to do that and to have a bit of, of quiet time too. Okay. Um, so yes, yeah, so you might feel that there are people with sort of like an abundance of um, some colds and bits coming along. So when the... Um, the equinox, actually, that actual thing happens, it's just like this amazing time. Those two times of the year when you should really, really focus on looking at what you do with your diet and how that works. And, and actually, even down to cooking. So when I, in the summer months, I tend to cook all my vegetables and most of the veg that we're buying are being grown over ground. And I'll cook all my vegetables with the lid off so the light can be seen, the vegetables can see the light. And then when we move into the winter, most of the veg that come about are ones grown underground. Everything is a lot slower and they grow slowlier and they do, they release slowlier into our body. And when I cook, so if you think of stews, hot pots, all that kind of thing, you're cooking with the lid on to keep everything in and everything's cooking in the darkness. So in the summer, everything's light, open, you know, the days are growing. And then in that winter energy, where everything is a bit darker. So we should go to bed a bit earlier. If we want to be kind to our bodies, we should, you know, work with the na natural rhythms of, of the earth. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like my interpretation simply in, yeah. in from an equinox perspective. Yeah, that <laughs> like, makes sense. Yeah. Thank Absolutely you. Brilliant. So now would be a good time to do the cleanse, so the doTERRA, the GX assist and cleanse. Yeah, probably. Absolutely. I probably would have started it before thinking about it, to be honest. Maybe we'll plan that for, put it in the diary actually for spring equinox. So you mm. start actually the GX before the equinox. So you're going through it and then going on to your PB assist afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to do the Epsom bath and I'm going to pour some of this oil into it as well. Yeah, that would be amazing. That would be, a, yeah. The only thing is, Debbie, and I know you're not going to like me saying this, <laughs> when you do your Epsom salt bath for a cleanse perspective, you're drawing. Okay. Yeah. If you put the oils in, what do the oils want to do? Yeah. So maybe oh, then. So maybe I will diffuse. I'll do the Epsom salt bath and then when I come out, massage the oil on. Yeah, you can do that, or you could have it diffuse. I know you shouldn't maybe diffuse in the bathroom when you're in water, but you could have it on in the diffuser. If you've got the oils that you haven't got with the fractionated coconut oil, um, put them in the diffuser close to the bar bathroom so you can be smelling the, them in. For this one, you can take it with you. It charges up. Yeah, so you could do that. Put it yeah. on a windowsill so you could diffuse it, and then that is a perfect idea. I think I might do that as well. Have that 
done and then I can rub that in when I come out yeah yeah but yeah if you put it into the into the water the oils want to go in but what we want to do is draw the toxicity out yeah it makes sense yeah all right thank you for sharing that welcome very welcome has anyone got any questions or anything they want to share with us while we're together no 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 brilliant thank you that's such a lovely meditation that set me up for my equinox I go a bit hippie on an equinox day it's like my Christmas day <laughs> <laughs> me too I'm I'm always... like to dress on I go out and walk in nature and yeah lovely. especially at 20 past eight tonight tonight yeah definitely be outside tonight Maybe that do is a meditation. fascinating I've never known any of this before so I'll be out there in my garden at 20 past eight yeah, do, yeah. That. do a it's... meditation over that time yeah. or do yeah. some yoga um anything like that anything that brings you into stillness but mm. if you want to feel it you need to be outside in nature yeah yeah lovely. I might go and do a little meditation over the woods yeah that'd be nice that'd be perfect. last night it was so special for those that are watching this that didn't come we we were in a wood and we were doing this first meditation and suddenly in the distance you could hear this deer and it was just, and, a, and an owl as well, wasn't there, going, and it was just so special. Oh, my God. We're doing I it as a group. Like for some unknown silly reason. When, when we're as a group, you just feel so safe, and, and because, you, you know, someone else is kind of facilitating it, you can just relax and let yourself get into it. So, yeah, yeah we'll have to do some more of those, and I'll, I'll put it, give a bit more notice. <laughs> yeah, no, no problem. I, I kind of didn't really clock the date I just yeah. thought it was for the equinox for some reason yeah yeah ah oh, lovely thank you very much I love talking about the equinox <laughs> so next week on Wednesday I'm not going to be here because although I might be tuning in from the car I'm um, I'm going away for a few days it's my birthday on Thursday so Antonietta is going to be hosting our session and so it will be a different link to normal so do check that you've got the right link and we'll put it in the post in the Facebook group so you know what the link is, but it won't be this one. Mm. Yeah, well, well, I'm away as well, so. Oh, yeah. I might be Billy No Mates then. <laughs> <laughs> um, if there's a, oh, you have to unmute, Claire. The, you're on mute. Yes, I'm actually going away next Wednesday for a few days as well. So <laughs> we're all going together now. <laughs> <laughs> not going to be around either oh, <laughs> there'll oh. be lots of people that will be let, let us know what your topic is so i can give yeah. people a, a week's notice yeah. and then um, they can I plan it you told me like an hour ago so i, just, I did I only asked you an hour ago yeah subject that anybody might like to hear about let me know but um yeah I have a little what about immune system oils or something if you say that we're suddenly entering into this part where people are going to be getting lots of colds and yeah, we could do. Um, I could do that. Yeah. yeah. Or something else. Whatever comes to you. I might have to do it around flu and um, the those oils. I might do that protocol. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've taken the flu bomb this morning just in case. Yeah. Because yeah. I was sneezing a lot yesterday. It was really annoying me. Yeah. I've got a diffusing so I've got actually. I've got flu diffusing at the moment. Mm. Mm. Well, I've got flume diffusing because I always will put in as well <laughs> yeah yeah maybe that'd be a nice one yeah okay yeah i'll do that That's a good okay. one. brilliant all right well thanks everybody no, thank you thanks thank very you. much it's really interesting see you all soon yeah. bye bye bye, bye. bye. bye.